This Ridley O is sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. In response to my uh, counterintuitive commentary about the British soldier beheading, one of my viewers had something to say that was both cruel and yet too kind at the same time. I'm not sure how that's possible. Actually, I'm also not sure the whole soldier was beheaded. He was hacked to death. I guess that's the part. I know. But the the viewer, Kurt Hallen, says, quote, One less mercenary, unquote. Now, this sounds cruel in the sense that it seems to not care too much about the death. But at the same time, it's too kind because it it uses a term for a soldier that Really, I'm not sure a soldier deserves such a good term. A mercenary, I mean, this does a disservice to mercenaries, because a government soldier, in every case, receives taxpayer money. Stolen property pays pretty much his whole salary. But in some cases, mercenaries are voluntarily funded. There's another ethical advantage that a mercenary sometimes has over a government soldier. As an example, there were quite a few British mercenaries killed in Bosnia. That means that they were not sort of stuck with the fight, but they came to it and took the risks of their own volition without being sent there, without being born there. And I'm talking about, these are folks I remember hearing about that were fighting for the Bosnian army and training its soldiers. And this op this operation probably prevented some of the genocide that would have happened otherwise. I'm guessing they were probably paid by the Bosnian government in some ways, but the situation was so disorganized that I would suspect a lot of that money came from volunteers or from overseas donations. I am much more broken up about the death of the British mercenaries in Bosnia around 1993 than I am about that soldier walking down the street who was part of an Afghan occupation. I mean, really, seriously, how is he any better than that army that occupied Afghanistan in the 19th century, that British army? No one cares that it got wiped out. Because it, at least, deserved to be defeated. It was an occupying army. The Afghans should not have killed everyone they captured, but they did have a perfect right to fight. How is it any different today? Just because the century happens to be different, it's no more right to occupy an unwilling foreign country than it ever was. Oh, and when you're marching down your local main street supporting the dominant popular pro-soldier viewpoint, ask yourself how many of the, how many of these soldiers that you're supporting are just they're fighting from behind a computer screen? Their act of bravery is to press a button. Yes, there are many soldiers who have to do brave things on the front line. And some of the ones who press buttons might be willing to do something create, uh, courageous. But how, how well does the average soldier's level of courage compare to that of these two so-called terrorists? These guys were taking action alone, knowing they'll probably be tortured or killed making no effort to flee the scene. I am not seeing yet a dime's worth of difference between these guys and Michael Collins' boys that used to do this to British troops. Michael Collins is almost universally regarded as a hero, even in Britain. Where's the consistency here, folks? One of the British generals in World War II, I think it was Doubting, the one who led or helped lead the Battle of Britain, he used to do something that this was this was Britain at its best. I mean, when you when you once you've forgiven him for accepting a government salary, he was he was Britain at its best. And, and we, what he used to do was apply this icy logic, the same logic I'm applying today. He would apply that logic to the Germans, and sometimes this led him to brutal courses of action. But sometimes it led him to uh, humane courses of action. What he would do was he would he would just apply the same logic to them that he applied to the British. So he'd say, okay, 
a soldier, a pilot, bailing out of an aircraft is either a legitimate target or not, depending on where he's bailing out. If it's one of our soldiers bailing out over Germany, he's a legitimate target for the Luftwaffe. Luftwaffe. No, I'm sorry. He, no, I got that backwards. He was. He would say one of our soldiers bailing out over British territory is a legitimate ter uh, target for the Luftwaffe because as he's parachuting to safety, he remains a threat. It's likely that he'll land safely, get back in a fighter, and start shooting Germans again. So we don't, we shouldn't be angry at the Germans for trying to shoot down our troops over our own territory. However, we must never shoot, we, know, we must never shoot down a German who's bailing out over our own territory because he's not a legitimate target. He's not going to be a threat to us once he lands. So this was the way, again, I can't remember if it was Doubting or Lee Mallory or one of the other guys uh, in Britain, but, but there was one general who was very consistent at least about this one thing. He was able to set aside his personal feelings and apply consistency. That's the kind of thinking and understatement and calm behavior that used to make British folks great. It's missing now. Although I will say those bystanders who witnessed the event, I saw that video, those people were pretty courageous, those civilians, uh, the way they handled the attacker uh, they didn't. I mean, they, didn't, they did not look scared. They most of them didn't even run away. They they just uh, took video of what was going on. They tried to talk the guys down. That that was pretty cool. Those were the real heroes of the incident, not the soldier who simply died. Anyway, I just thought I'd say some things that no one else is saying on Memorial Day. Counter-programming's got to be counter-programming, or it's not counter-programming. It's Ridley-O, sponsored by friends of BitcoinStore.com. Half a million items for sale, often cheaper than Amazon. The easiest way to convert your Bitcoins into real-world stuff. They're privacy-friendly, you don't even have to give your name. BitcoinStore.com.